When you go and make an abortion, you have that kid on your head. Even the man that you did together, or the boy that you went together, I don't know if, and whatever I went through with others, but let me tell you the message I've brought for you. And that that message is not is bitter, but let it be a lesson. Because there's no time. I'll just think I'll say is the calling I was called when I was 12 years old. And now I'm 74. Can't you give glory to God? Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Fight against the, and they lie to others, and they will just cheat on their partners. And all the person that killed his fellow is a person that killed his fellow. And how did he kill him? How did he kill him? I don't know how he killed him. I don't know if he did it with some witchcraft, and he personally. Thank God for being with me till here. There are some things I came after. But also the gospel of God being among them. God protected me. He brought me till here. It's not my first time. And I came here again. But the Lord who brought me safely. I thank it for God. May God be glorified. Additionally, I thank the church of God. I can see so many churches. They have encountered so many problems. But I came to this church. And I can see it's still good. And the Lord that has done such work protecting you in this church I give glory to it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And again I thank the workers of here the servant of God we've known each other at that time I was here and again we used to know each other just like me but when I got here at that time and he touched my heart Brethren, the elders say, go where they don't know you. But when you go to a place where you are known, it's a great one of God. May God bless you. May God add on God. The times when I used to call him, or he used to call me, I could respond the call with joy and you could hear him so much and also you could get happy and because God gave you such heart and you received everybody people received the youth but him, he didn't refuse to welcome an elder. And he loved me and make me love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Let me say, a few minutes. I have so many words. But I'll just break it into pieces. I'm the writer of this book or the author of this book. But I'll just break it into short. I won't say it in large. It's just a prophecy about revelation. It's a revelation. It was written in four chapters. It's a prophecy of a revelation. Then the revelation of miracles. And the works I've done. But what I'll say. Because there's no time. I'll just say a summary about the revelation. Then we speak the word of God. Yes, Praise God.
Yes, ashim. Praise God. Mwe yale kwa gani ho hara magambo? In the revelation there is some one. Na hii ndi ro guturukiria mu muhamagaro. But others that come from the revelation. Bila ko simbi simbi vuga. They are written but I won't speak about them. Ariko hari kintu kimwe mvuga. But there's one thing I'll say. Mu muhamagaro na hamaga wendo fite imyaka 12. Is the calling I was called when I was 12 years old. Ndo fite imyaka 74. And now I'm 74. Timwashimiyo ma. Can't you give glory to God? Hallelujah. 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 Then therefore and those from the back they become elders but the inner person is new the strength of talking and I was called in saying and others But all those tops but the word of God I could hear inside of me why why because of what i saw in that journey in that calling nayo waitorero ryimana i led a church i won't go into it but the day I was called nabonye ngera hantu i saw myself getting to a point i got to a point where it's in a mbone ibintu bitatu ntazibagira and i saw three things i won't forget mbone sisha And I saw a new world. I saw a new world. And I saw a chair. And I saw light. A light that doesn't come from the sun. The light not from the electric. Light that does not come from anything. But the light comes from the presence of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Rero imana yanje irabinyereka Therefore my God showed me those things Kugira ngo umuntu ahamagarwe So that you have been called Abone ibyo yagiye kubona And see whatever you've been called to see Suko kumukirana se kuruta abantu Not because you are rushes than others Suko buri ni 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 shemusi kuruta abantu You're not valuable or holy than others Suko buri numuko ukora neza Don't work good than others Umuhamagara uragora The calling is so difficult Uwo mucho the light Nabonye tataiso ni wa wundi watunguye pahoro is the light that shocked Paul kid Sauli when he was still Saul he had again that arwanya ubwoko bw'Imana when he was fighting against the world of God numucho, but when he came upon the light yikubita hasara and he fell down and he became blind ahuma ya maso y'umubiri and he became blind physically ahuma maso y'umutima and he was open in spiritual and that's the reason why the word of God says when naraje kugira ngo abavuga ngo barabona bahume and they came to the, those who say they see they become blind and those who are blind to see dufita maso yumutima we have the eyes from the heart ihaya maso gihaya reba with the physical eyes are still there umutima dahaya bona and the heart eyes are not there you just see the physical ukabona eh ukabona eh abandi and you just see others But after Paul was shocked by the light and he said why should you see me alone and he said who is that that is asking me and he said is the Christ when the light of God comes upon you it shows you your sins and it sees everything and then it shows you later those of others and also God does not go sick it shows you a sin and gives you a direction not because you want to put him into others just go close to him and if it's difficult and just keep it a secret in your heart and if they agree and you pray for them therefore let me tell you that when the revelation came upon you myself in the book of Genesis the word of God says chapter 37 verse 5 Umuhamagara A calling is so difficult. Igihe Joseph yahamagawe. When Joseph was called, ahamagarwa ngo yazaga bona yabaye igikoma ngo makabona imiba yiwe irikira hagara A very great person. Ariko bene se baramwanga. And his brothers didn't like him. Kuko yazaga babwira inzozi. Because he could dream up tell them what he has dreamt. But there's a word that surprises me. Imana The Lord does not call the strong 
Instead, he makes great those who he has called. Hallelujah. Praise God. He strengthens those that he has called. Joseph didn't see that his brothers will first of all sell him. And God didn't make him to know that. He shows you what you'll become. But he won't show you the way that you'll go through. Then you, he has called you. And he strengthened him. And he held it tightly. Take the covenant of God. There's a way in your journey. You meet so many difficulties as Joseph. But go on with your journey. Go on with your journey. And the word of God, whatever we saw, that is what I'm going to speak about. Whatever made me write this book, I felt that the calling, seeing heaven is another thing, and whatever I went through is other, but let me tell you the message I've brought for you, and that, that message is not is bitter, but let it be a lesson to you, and I saw that I, I'm in a place, and they came to girls, and those ladies are like the walls we face as a church. The letter to come, you must first of all remember what you went through before. That's how singer said, in that way that is so tiresome, where are you heading to? And he said, we are going to the country that all that's prepared But wherever, in the mountains and in the valleys, is where we pass, then that day, those are the first things I saw them being nice uh, they were so amazing and also I wouldn't wish to come back but again a voice came to me and said go back then I saw they came to ladies they came and when they go to church I don't know whether that is real I don't know whether it, it is to come and after getting to the church and one used the weapon that she was having and they could see everybody falling down from the altar of God and even in the members and they say oh my God people are dying and he said and another one was having a sharp metal and he said and I'm with you and be comforted and they could see people rising up and he said let me tell you what you have seen those ladies one of them is Jezebel that the ones who will fight against the church when we say about war or we are ready to fight and the word of God say whoever in love I teach them a lesson and he said the first one that used his weapon <coughs> was Jezebel the one who fought against the kingdom of God or the nation of God and he said those are ladies and the other one is Delilah the one who fought against Samson and he was a Nazarite and he finished all his strength and he said you lie to me that you love me and Jezebel again and he lied to Ahab and he took away the kingdom from him and he ruled again and he gave him the sign he said, Do, those two ladies are here to, to just fall down the church of God and the servants of God so that they they'll turn against each other the servants of God will be weak and they couldn't be able to stand up firmly 
And also he went against Elijah. After killing all the prophets. And he said if I won't make him the same with this one. And also may God do the same to me. And he said those two ladies. They'll come in the church of God. They'll fight in hidden places. They'll fight. And they'll fight people without them knowing. And told me go and tell people to be awake to fight and you won't fight it you won't win it with using the sword songs are good but you will win it through prayers our songs are just to push us and they said the second word that I saw go and tell the people to be awake to fight the war and a servant will fight against the, and they lie to others and they'll just cheat on their partners and all the churches will fall down those two ladies are to disperse the church of God they are to disperse the church of God and they say go and tell it to people then therefore the, the two ladies are coming close as they come close to them as they make us to do whatever we are not supposed to do whatever God doesn't like and is telling us in our ears or whispering to us and those past then therefore and I saw some wind blowing when it came to me wherever I was then after or before I saw the wind and I could hear somebody whispering to me and go to that door when I got to the door I found them two people having burdens to burdens those are the words that made me to write this book and they say go and look at those two people when I got there and they say let me take off the burden of the Lord they had two burdens of two loads two loads my brethren when I tried to take it off I called it my age and I could hear the ropes rounding the load on my head and they let the other come because they had two loads that could not enter in the door they were so big and the door was small then therefore and they say let the other one come when the one other one came he came with a lot that is speaking and I could hear as if he's carrying a person and he was saying put me down put me down and what are we fighting against you? when I tried also I couldn't and I want you to hear this one. Then after, I came back. And I went to the first one. And I told him, wherever you told me to go, I got to the place. I found two people with burdens. When I tried to take them off, I pulled into my name. They knew if you are able, can you go? And he said, the same way you didn't manage the same way. And whatever they have is on their head. The first one that you saw, the Lord that could not enter the door, is a person that killed his fellow. Is a person that killed his fellow. And how did he kill him? How did he kill him? I don't know how he killed him. I don't know if he did it with some witchcraft. And he planned it. And he thinks that they have buried him. But instead they are on your head. Even if you are a sinner. Even if you are an intercessor that burden is on your head and the other person who is carrying another one on the head 
is a person who like that is a witchcraft or any other thing that you think of others brethren I'm telling you just go around yourself have a meeting with your, your tongue our tongue will make us carry burdens that we can't able to us suspecting things will make us somebody was killed on a madra and the one who has lied against his brethren according to what he has heard both will be just together. And he said it's possible. And he said don't fear those the murderers of the physical body. He said fear those who kill the hearts. You have killed the soul of the person you have lied to. And whatever will save them unless they speak by the word of the mouth there's still time in the, the word of God in chapter 1 verse 5 in Obadiah says the Lord of Christ is near coming to the whole world Whatever you did is whatever you will go forth with. Whatever you did will come on your head. Whatever, whether it's good or bad. The only God does not and he say repent. Whether it's another time, whether it's today, go be awake and protect your heart. Another word and I could hear some washrooms some washrooms was talking and they could say go and save this nation and he said those are the unborn kids that were thrown in the washrooms brethren brethren the women Fathers, Bahungu, gentlemen, Bakobga, ladies, Uzure Kanuba of Ganyan Mukoga and Guzamajana, Uzamajan, a girl that will take her. No Vakaham Pagaze had Turikaratara, and I could feel wherever I was standing was separating. No, 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 fruit of the babies that were thrown. And I could say, how could they ground? And he asked me, don't you know Cain and Abel? Cain killed his brother. But whatever I went to give the information was the ground. And when he came, he was asked, where is your brother? And he said, I'm not the keeper of my brother. And he said the blood of your brother is on you. Wherever you made, committed the sin is the place that you'll speak. When you go and make an abortion, you have that kid on your head. Even the man that you did together, or the boy that you went together, yeah, I don't know if it has already happened or is it has already happened or is to happen. But just listen to this word. And I was told to go and speak it to people. It's the reason I wrote this book. And if it's a lady that has been impregnated, just marry her. Don't say that I'm giving you the money for abortion. And also if you're the mother to the girl, Teach her before she gets pregnant. But when you see her pregnant, just tell her to give birth. Even though you're not happy, when she gives birth, then teach her. Again, if you're the mother to the son, as the son has the burden on his head, he brings it to the parents then the parents and they 
And they say that lady is a prostitute. And how comes a prostitute came to a son? Tell your son to take the lady. You loved her. And the night that she goes, you don't know. But whatever I'm telling you, brethren, there's still God and there's still time. There's ti still time. Whoever has a person in their head, if you've lied, and they could see all of them turning, and when they go to a point, I could see the cross, and all of them could stretch their arms, and others could repent, and once they repent, all the burden could fall, the Lord could fall. But others could not repent. And I'm telling you brethren. I'm telling you a secret. You still early. You still have time. You still in the time of grace and mercy. Let's read the word of God. We'll see time is going much. And they read in the book of Romans. Romans. Whoever is ready to read. A word of not judging others. Don't judge your fellow. Chapter 14. Verse 12. Be fast. Amen. Amen. The word of God does not pass away. It says whatever you are doing is the letter that you are writing. Don't be burdened by the sins of your fellow. Don't be the one that makes them fall. Just write your path. Whatever you do, whether you are a lady, you won't be lightened by your husband's. Only your deeds will lighten your path. If you are a boy, you won't be lightened by your parents' light. You only lighten for yourself. May the Lord bless us. May He open our eyes. And if you tell people about heaven, just tell them that they are blessed. And let's say others that are not these are relating. These are just ones to put us here. I can't go without saying these words. A word of judgment to others. A 